Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Uluato Sane, in case you are seeing my channel for the first time. And you're welcome to all my returning subscribers, you're also welcome. Thank you all so much for stopping by today's video. In this video, we are going to be learning how to make this bustier blouse with snatched waistline and this color page and this kind of sleeve. In case this happens to be the first time you are coming across my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel and don't just subscribe, turn on notification bell so you get notified the next time I upload a new video on this channel. So first thing we are going to be drafting out on our pattern paper. So this is my already marked out lines on my pattern paper. I have the full length line, the shoulder to the waistline, then the shoulder to the under bust, shoulder to nipple and then the shoulder to the chest point and i also have the shoulder marked out on my pattern paper the next thing to do is i'm going to be dividing a nipple to nipple by two so this person's nipple to nipple is actually 10 so i'm going to be marking five inches then i'm going to be adding additional one inch to the five inches so in total I'll be marking six inches. That's an equal to nipple divided by two plus one inch allowance. Then mark this in two to three places and you connect all of these points into a straight line just like I did. The next thing you are going to do is on the waistline, you are going to go forward with two and a half inches. I'm using two and a half because this person is a busty person. You can as well use two if it's not for somebody that is really, really busty. So you go outward with Two and a half inch and then you come inward with half inch which was what i did and then you draw this connect this into a straight line to the full length the two points from the waistline down to the full length just like i'm doing i hope that's clear after this on the nipple to nipple line on the chest point you will go to the left and then to the right with one one inch so you go towards yourself with one inch and then you come inward with one inch you are going to mark these two points when you are done marking that the next thing to do is to pick up your cuff ruler and then you can now draw your bustier cup like you can now draw your cup so just place your cuff ruler the way i'm placing mine you are going to start from the one one inch you marked on the chest point line towards the shoulder to the nipple line and then towards the shoulder to the under bust line just like i'm doing then you draw your cup. When you are done drawing your cup on that side, on the other side as well, which is the other one inch that you marked on the chest point line, you are going to start from there and still draw your cup. Just place your cup ruler to where you placed mine and you just mark it out. It is that simple. This style is a very, very simple style to achieve. The next thing to do after this is I'm going to be connecting from my shoulder to the under bust line, I'm going to connect it straight down to the full length. You know, the cup is from the chest point to the under bust line. So from the shoulder, from the under bust to the full length line, I'm just going to connect it straight down. I hope that's clear. I'm just trying to use this marker to thicken the line so that it can be more obvious. So the next after this is you can now start transferring your body measurement on your pattern paper. So right now I'm done drawing my, my cup. I started transferring my body measurements. I divide on the, on the chest point line. You divide the person's waist by four, mark that, and then you're going to add the additional two inches allowance that you marked, one, one inch on the left and the right. You add it to your, your bust measurement. On the waistline, the waistline divided by four, you mark that. Then you go back to mark to measure the three inches allowance you marked out here, which is two and a half to one side and half to the other side. You are going to add it to the waistline. Then on the full length line, you are going to be dividing the person's hip by four, and you mark that. Note that at this point, I will not be adding any sewing allowance to my pattern paper. I'll be doing all of that when. I'm transferring to my main fabric. If you want, you can add your sewing allowance to your pattern paper, but I'm not going to be adding at this point. So I'll be connecting these three points together, the bust to the waist and then to the hip, just like I'm doing. The next thing after this is to mark out the neckline. This is a round neckline, as you can tell from the video that I played at the initial stage of this tutorial. 
So from the shoulder line, I marked 10. From the shoulder line, I marked 8 initially for the chest point. So that means from the chest point, now I marked 2 for the neckline and it's the round neck. Then I proceeded to draw my neckline. The next thing is you can see that this blouse has scallop, like one side is longer than the other. So from the shoulder line, you are going to add additional 3 inches to the full length. I added additional 3 inches to the full length and then I marked the scallop. You can just be creative with this depending on the kind of scallop that you are trying to achieve. But for me, this is the particular one I'm going to be working with. The next thing to do is just to extend that nipple to nipple line downward to where the scallop stops. You can now cut out your pattern. So you cut out, you, you know, you don't need the shoulder. The shoulder is just as a guide. So you cut out the shoulder, you cut out your bustier and all of that. I proceeded to label in mine so that I don't get to mix it up side, center, front, then pattern paper one and pattern paper two. We'll be using this to cut the back. So you're just going to place it on the back just like I did. And then you're going to be marking where the full length stops. You know, the back doesn't need the cup and all of that. You're just going to mark where the full length stops and then you mark your waistline on the pattern paper that you are using for the back connect this your point that you marked into a straight line then for me this blouse is going to have zip if yours is not going to have zip you are to omit this stitch but because mine is going to have zip like the modesty panel is going to be on top of the zip outside so i marked one and a half inch for my zip allowance after the zip allowance, I divided a nipple to nipple by two and then I added one inch allowance. I connected that into a straight line and on the waistline, I marked half inch forward, half inch backward. You can as well mark one inch forward and one inch backward, but I used half, half inch. Then you proceed to marking out your darts for the back. The next thing to do after this is don't forget that I'm starting from this point because my blouse has zip. If yours does not have a zip, just ignore. Just start from where the pattern paper starts. So I divided our bust by four, I marked that. Then our waistline divided by four, I marked that. I added the additional one inch allowance that I'm going to cut out for the dart. Then our hip on the full length, I divided our hip by four, I marked that. Then you're going to be connecting these three points together, the bust point, the waistline point, and then the hip. Don't forget that I'm not adding any sewing allowance at this point. Then I marked out the neckline. It is a round neck at the back as well. I marked out the neckline and that is it basically for the back. So you bring back the front panel and place it on the back panel again so that you can trace out the scallop so that the front and back scallop can be the same thing, which was what I did. I just placed the front panel on the back pattern paper and then I marked out the scallop and I cut it out. It's that simple. Now cut out your darts as well and we are done drafting. After drafting, we are going to be transferring all of this into our main fabric. For my main fabric, I used Mikado and then I used cotton lining. Don't forget that I've not added any form of allowance on my pattern paper. I mean any form of sewing allowance on my pattern paper. I'm going to be doing that on my main fabric. So I placed my pattern paper on my main fabric and then I cut it out for the front. I added half, half inch allowance to each side and then for the sewing I added two inches allowance. Before I cut the center front I made sure that my fabric is on fold of two so that they won't be joining at the middle and I cut out the line as well. The lining and the fabric, they are the same, like exact measurement. The lining is not in any way shorter or smaller than the main fabric. So I'm going to repeat the same thing to the back. I'll be placing the back pattern on main fabric and then I'll cut it out. On the sewing side, the side where I'm going to shape it, I'll have two inches allowance. And on every other side, you're going to have half, half inch allowance. I hope that is clear. So, like I said, I did the same thing for the back. I cut out the main fabric. I cut out the lining. 
so you are done cutting the next thing to do is to start sewing so firstly you'll be adding interfacing to your main fabric and then to the lining i used st which is the best i even used two layer of st on the main fabric and then i used one layer on my line like i interfaced the fabric twice i interfaced the lining once so for now this is where i'm going to be ending this video because i don't want it to get too lengthy so in my next video by god's grace i'll be uploading step by step of how i stitched this blouse together so stay tuned and watch out for my next video i'll see you in the next one bye